Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. I'm Andrew the Love Doctor and I specialize in breakups, recreeping, lying, and cheating in relationships. I want to thank everyone for their comments on YouTube. It's encouraging to know that I'm making a difference in people's lives today. Please continue to make comments so I would know what my next topic should be and please continue to like my comments so I would know how effective they were. Today, I'm going to discuss red flag number 28. What is a narcissistic mind fuck? Coming from the book, once again, here we go again, this time with the narcissist. Moments later, Lilith humbly enters my room and slowly, pathetically, sits beside me as I lay in bed and says, I miss you. She would kiss me and lay her head on my chest and told me and say, I'm ready to take your suggestion and see a marriage counselor. Red flag! A narcissist promise to go to counseling, but they never do. They only tell you this so it would stop you from leaving them before they are ready to leave you. Run! Next day, Lillis calls me on my job and tells me she wants to talk. I'm thinking, finally, communication. I start getting ready and happy at this point. I'm able to concentrate on the job now. I can't wait to get home. Lilith gets home before me on this day. So I say hello. I walk in my room to unwind and then I go into Lilith's room for our talk. Since Lilith initiated this conversation, let her start first. I want to see other people. Eh? I'm a loss for words. This is not what I anticipated. You want to what? Come again? I want to see other people. Red flag! This is what you call a narcissistic mind fuck. It's emotional murder of giving you false hope. Run! Example number two. Remember, Lilith asked me to leave before this incident and begged me to come back before this incident. One weekend, Saturday night, going into Sunday morning, five o'clock in the morning, Lilith calls me. I'm happy to hear from her. But at the same time, I'm not happy because trust me, with this woman, it's not going to be nothing good. I wanted to say, what do you want? But I decided to be civil because I'm at work. Hello, Lilith. I said, I'm surprised to hear from you. Lilith's demeanor was the humblest she had ever been with me. Even more meeker than in her so-called apologetic love notes. I have something to tell you. I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck she got to say? Cowering in her words, I've been seeing someone else. Why the fuck did you bring me here? Lilith would quietly and slowly hang up the phone. I would continue to blow up the phone by calling her, but to what avail? She's not going to answer. After the fifth time dialing, I decided to leave it alone. Sometimes saying fuck it is the best decision. In the meantime, the guy texts you saying she's in good hands. 
You know how this will go down for the rest of the night, right? Tyrone, that's the name all these women fuck with, the bad boys, would feel victorious that he's taking away another woman, man's woman. In his oversized ego, he will continue to fuck the shit out of her the rest of that morning while I seethe in my rage about all the positions he's sexually putting her in. Red flag. This is what you call a narcissistic mind fuck. It's emotional murder of giving you false hope. Run! This is how a black man catches a case. There's a saying. Music calms the savage beast. How many times have you turned to music to uplift you? Even further in happy times or sought comfort of music when malarkey strikes. Music affects us all. Listening to music and playing music actually can alter how our brain processes information and therefore affect how our bodies function. Music sets the mood for whatever emotions you desire to feel. Right now, the perfect song to sound off my rage is Get Down With The Sickness By Disturbed. Listen to the lyrics if you really want to know what my emotions are. Battle cry. Say it like a wild baboon in the jungle and lift up your head to the sky and screech. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Open up your head and let it flow into me. This, this right here, this is how a man snaps and kills everyone in the fucking house. How do you get over a mind fuck? Time. Time is the only thing that will heal your mind. It's true that time heals all wounds. Unfortunately, time doesn't move fast enough when you're in pain. However, I promise you, as time goes by, you will get better. There will be a grieving period. Unfortunately, the more you love that person, the longer it will take you to get over them. Everyone has his or her own time span for this experience. Do not replace time with self-will. I repeat, do not replace time with self-will. I have lived everything I am telling you and we're not different. This is factual intelligence based on experience. Time will be the only way for reprieve or relief. If you try to fight it as I have, you will only experience more pain. One more time. Red flag. This is what you call a narcissistic mind fuck. It is emotional murder of giving you false hope. Run!